Hello guys, I'm back. In this video, I will talk to you, can I recirculate the discharge of my pressure relief device to the inlet of my pump? My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. These days, I received on my LinkedIn feed the following question. If we install a PSV, it's possible to connect the liquid in outlet PSV to the suction line of, of pump. In other words, if I install a PSV at the discharge of my pump, can I do the road or do the recirculation of the discharge of the PSV to the inlet of the pump? So let's talk a little bit about that. And the first question, the first answer to this question is depends on. Because when we install a pressure relief device in a equipment to protection, we need to understand what is the reason for this equipment, for this pressure relief device. It is a block discharge, it is a fire case, it is overpressurization because of the inlet conditions and etc. So to to confirm if it's possible or not to re recirculate the discharge of the, the PSV in, a, uh, in the discharge of the pump, in the PSV at the discharge of the pump. To the inlet of the pump, we need to know what is the cause of overpressurization. But if you go to, many, to the industry and if you verify pressure relief devices at the discharge of reciprocating pumps or positive displacement pumps, it's very common that we do the recirculation for the inlet of the pump. And, we, and why we do that in this specific case? When you isolate the discharge of a positive displacement pump, you will increase the pressure. And because we are accumulating mass of liquid in the discharge of the pump, you will increase pressure and we can have a rupture of your system. So to avoid that, we add a pressure relief device. But most often, for instance, if we are talking about, about an oil pump or a fluid that you don't want to spend for, for uh, specific reasons, you can do the recirculation to the inlet of the pump. Why we are able to do that in this case? Because once you recirculate the, the liquid to the inlet, you are not accumulating, uh, accumulating liquid at the discharge of your pump, so you, lim you limit the increase in pressure. And also because the inside of the pump is a positive displacement pump, you have a specific volume that can be carried out from the inlet to the outlet. And you will, in this case, limit or you will have a, a, a constant volume. And with that, your pump will do the recirculation without adding more mass than, than available or than, than possible to, to your pump. And because of that, you will not increase the discharge. So what I mean by that? What is going in is what is going out and what is what is recirculating. So in this case, you will limit the pressure at the discharge of the pump at the set point of your PSV. A point of attention is that any pressure relief that device that you add to your system, especially if we are talking about pressure safety valves that are spring loaded, is that you must consider the pressure design of your system or maximum liable working pressure that will define the set point of your PSV, but also the back pressure or the pressure downstream of your pressure relief device. Because based on that, your, you will have the regulation for the opening of your PSV. So when you recirculate to the inlet, of your pump, you must guarantee that the pressure up, upstream of the pump is constant. Or if it is variable, you need to consider that in the design of the pressure relief device. Another good information to you know is that as we are doing the recirculation of flow of a positive displacement pump, 
the required flow in this case will be most often a full flow uh, pressure relief device. So a, a, every any flow or all the flow that is going into the pump must go into to the to the to pressure relief device. That is different if we are talking about centrifugal pumps. If you add a pressure relief device in the discharge of a centrifugal pump, the required flow will be different. And to know more about it, I recommend you to take a look in this video that is available in my profile. This is it. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.